is twice as deep as the, as the, as the, as the size the of the sea. This way or this way? Yeah. We yeah. thank yeah. God yeah. Goes, I think, for this so day. The side. <laughs> like this. He yeah. guides yeah. me but I, I all the way. His love is true. And he loves me through. Now yeah, to the <laughs> Hello, who are you? I'm the sweaty gardener. Your name? Paula. Paula Lee from Manoa mm -hmm. Valley. And I know May too. And so it's through May that I've started very um, opportune start of this garden in 2017. And this is, we've added to Jay. I don't know Jay's other name. We've added two J's, papaya trees, and some of this other things mm -hmm. here. So this, J started this, but we've been watering this area very much, right? We're not sure what kind of papaya, whether it's a male, a female, or an um, hermaphrodite. So the, the male is not actually any use, because it doesn't really Don't. produce a very good fruit. Oh. So it has to be either the hermaphrodite, which is both sexes, or the female, and we're waiting to see but it's a very healthy tree. These are healthy trees. And so we've planted two more papaya trees, and these are non GMO. Okay, and you know sure. what they are? Yeah. Okay. So the important thing is they're not genetically modified because mm -hmm. you really don't want to spread that. And then we also added the amaranth. So we started with the green amaranth. And this is all transplants from Manoa Community Garden up in the valley. And so we just transplanted them in the soil at the, you know, after making a holes. And then we also added the red amaranth, which is actually done even better than the green one. So you can use this for the leaves, like a spinach, the leaves of both of them. And um, May has been really utilizing them. And here is a little malungai. That's one of the reasons why May wanted to start this garden. It's because of this little malungai, which is, comes from India or from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And they're apparently incredibly health-giving, the leaves. So I can't tell you all that they have in them. You could look that up. But um, people grow all over the city now. They grow this Indian or Filipino malungai for the health benefits. And of course we have chives because the chives keep the slugs away. Slugs don't like um, onions, green onions of course, down here. And then we had to have basil. So we started off with the basil. I donated and it came from Home Depot. It's organic. That one in there. And something likes it, the taste of it, so it is being chewed a little bit, not too bad. Wow, you are really chunkola. And then you know we, call it we went and had a you meal somewhere, and we had some basil yeah. at a restaurant, either, I think, Vietnamese. And so we got it from the restaurant, and we put it in the soil, and it's doing even better than the other one. Wow. And then our Vietnamese oh, gardener just arrived today, and she is donating her Genovese basil, which is from Italy. Oh, so that's nice. the classic Italian when you put make oh, pesto. Yeah. But, uh, luckily, yes, and she planted her tomato plant right next door because they're supposed to be good together, tomato and basil. Mm -hmm. We have a tomato here, tomato plant plant here. I know they taste good together. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the deciding factor, isn't it? <laughs> so yes, we got we have some of our herbs. Of course, we have more. Um, Rosemary. Um, I think May really wanted rosemary. Even though one died, we made sure we got another one. <laughs> and people donate too to the garden now. Oh. And I can't remember who donated that, but someone from the church. And then behind here. Oh, this, sorry, this is from Ruth. Oh, from Ruth. Ruth. Great. So make sure you mention them. <laughs> and then um, among the chives and their lilac flowers, we have. Malabar spinach, which is the green leaf spinach, which um, we need to give more water to, I think. But it can be a very lush leaf. Mm. And you just eat the leaves, cook them. This is another one of those, ong choy, which is Chinese. The ong choy with those long branches. 
Chinese eat this a lot. And it grows just with water and soil. So these are all very healthy, full of nitrogen. Not too much sugar. So that's a lot of it. Uh, we have lemongrass too. We put lemongrass in different areas. There's another basil in there that's called holy basil. And that's from the Indian continent. And and cassava root. That's um, very much a Filipino plant. It's going to have a root. And our new Vietnamese gardener knows about these things. So. Now the compost is going to go over here, right? Well, the, what compost? You, I thought you were going to make a compost. Oh, we're making compost all the time. Oh, oh, all oh, the time. oh you're not going to have a big compost? No, that was an attempt, but that's too big, I think. Okay. And it's in the wrong. It doesn't really have space because I think that's supposed to be used for something else. Mm -hmm. So we've been. That was donated compost, but all these plastic bags are covering mounds of compost. Oh, okay. And we take from those mounds every time we can. Oh, okay. So you're not going to have a one. I was used to where people have a big. Okay. There's no worms over there. Box and they. Oh, and no put a cover on it and they mix. You know. Mix oh, right, so right. so you're making. You have a little pile. You have. A, a bunch of. We have. It, it, see, it's, we're women, so we handle smaller quantities. Okay, okay. If there were a man who wanted to help with the compost, <laughs> he could make a big one. <laughs> but we are limited in space as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And so those are beans there. They're called long beans. Which one? This one here, climbing the fence. Oh. This is called the long bean. I brought the vine oh, from Manoa Community Garden. Mm -hmm. um, there were some beans. We might have just harvested them. There's some. Those are very tiny still up there. And here. The Chinese oh, okay. definitely oh, use these. Okay. But they're still very young. Yeah. You know, really young. And then there's sweet potato, which everybody has. It's a real good... Um, if you grow things commercially, they always grow sweet potato. Yeah, there's so always money in that. But we're not doing it for that reason. So that I'm sure I've missed out. We've put some seeds in the ground today, but they're only so big. Right? So we have the egg fruit, which you saw, and then we also have May. What is the other seed we put in the ground today? Over there. Oh no, egg plant. No, the other one. Oh, uh, the other one was the um, chayote. The chayote. Chayote. Yeah, that's going to grow along that fence in the back. Oh, okay. And that's, uh, you can, uh, it's so versatile. You can pickle it, like pickled mango. Mm. And people say even it's better than pickled mango. Oh. You can stir fry it. You can put it into every stews. It's very, very versatile. So May's idea is that when it becomes really full, that fence, that she's going to feed your whole church. All right. I'm <laughs> looking forward to it. Yeah. And of course, we have to get more recipes. Yes, yes. So we don't get bored. <laughs> she's going to send me a recipe for. Um, oh. what, a basil? What's the recipe you're sending me? Me too? Me. You're probably sending me a recipe, basil and uh, basil tomatoes? Basil and oregano. Oregano. Re oregano. Recipe. A pesto. For a pesto. Pesto, pesto. Yeah, yeah. Pesto. Yeah. We don't have much oregano. We need oregano. Oh, she gave, I'm going to use the stuff you gave I me. Gave it, I gave him a bunch of basil. And oh, that kind of oregano. Yeah, yeah. So right. he's going to make a pesto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he mm -hmm. can even have enough for spaghetti. We'll see what happens. That's true. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. You're going to love get, it. Get, people love, people love the... Uh, pesto and the, and the spaghetti more because of the fresh oregano. I put a lot of oregano in it. Okay. And it's very healthy. It is antibacterial. It is. Uh, it takes care of your chest, clears your chest of phlegm. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a healthy food. It makes oh. your spaghetti healthier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, we're so busy. Okay. You? Thank you so much, yeah. ladies. Okay. Thank you for taking time. Yeah. I'll send you a little blip uh, that I wrote up about our garden. Today is Mother's Day, oh, yeah. May the 13th. Okay. And these ladies are working hard. Oh, yeah, make sure they <laughs> are in the, in the church yes. garden. <laughs>